My brother Tom here, the GI, they had a, a bottle of uh, water. We used to carry a big bottle of water, non water tea. And uh, next to it was, uh, what do you call it? Preston uh, engine coolant. There were two of them sitting side by side. And uh, after we uh, ministered in East Main, we were supposed to go to East Main uh, to, uh, to Chesapeake. And uh, after uh, we played, uh, Thomas took the wrong uh, bottle and he swallowed two big gulps of antifreeze. And we looked at the bottle and said, poison. <laughs> And we said, uh, what are we going to do? And we said, uh, pray. Pray in the hands of God. Hallelujah. That's what we did. And so, <laughs> he was okay. He made it to Chesapeake. We Praise traveled God. I don't know how many hours. And God healed him. And uh, Brother Tony there, he was like almost, he was paralyzed almost. You know, we had to carry him. It happened in Chepe one time. It happened a couple of times. And we carried them. And uh, sometimes I used to wonder if our ministry was going to be over. But uh, God healed him. Amen. And there he is. <laughs> and my brother Joe here, you know, he had cancer. Cancer in his stomach. And uh, he was on uh, chemotherapy. And uh, we used to pray for him. I was devastated when the doctor called me up and said, Your brother Joe is very sick. He's got cancer. And uh, I prayed. We prayed a lot for him. I know a lot of people prayed for him. And then uh, one time he was called to the hospital and the doctor told him, I don't see any trace of cancer anymore. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> My brother uh, Norman here, I don't know what kind of sickness he ever had. I don't think he's ever sick. <laughs> but he went through a lot of stuff in his lifetime where we had to stand together as a group, all our wives, children, and continue praying for him. And God spot him a long, long way. And I thank the Lord for that. I was di diagnosed with kidney failure and uh, I was in, I, had, I don't know, maybe about uh, eight, nine uh, biopsies on my kidney and uh, just to go from Shibugumu, from Mr. Sneed to Shibugumu, I had to go to the washroom about 20 times 
And then one time, the doctor told me, I remember, and uh, it was November 20th, told me, we're going to have to do our last kidney biopsy. And uh, so that I did. I couldn't drive the car, I couldn't sit, put pressure on my side. When I got over there, I, I went through a regular kidney biopsy, and, uh, and so the doctor told me, December 20th, I want you back. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. You might not be able to see your children for Christmas. You might end up in the hospital. No, he want dialysis. Before I went to to uh, to Valdor, my son, with my I was standing there with my son. He was a guy was still boy. He and my wife. Okay, that I was ready to go to uh, to uh, Valdor for my final final te uh, results. And I didn't want to go. I didn't want to spend Christmas in the hospital. I didn't want to be there January. I wanted to be home. So while we were standing there, my son tells me, hey, Dad, I feel this breeze around us. I say you in the weekend and don't chant. It's only about eight years old. Stand, Baba. I told so I told I agree with you. So when I got to uh, Valdor, my appointment was at one o'clock. I I stayed at the uh, shopping center. I was nervous. I didn't want to go to the hospital. I didn't want to be at the hospital at one o'clock. But something happened when I was sitting there. Somebody tapped me on behind there, but stuff I could do. They just said, don't worry. God has everything under control. Amen. I looked around, seen this guy walking away. He didn't even introduce himself. I checked again, I couldn't see him after. I went straight to the hospital. And then at one o'clock, doctor saw me, and the kibbutz said, doctor, are you Peter? Yes, I am. Hey, you didn't stand. Come to my office. Before I got to the office, turns around, shakes my hand again, and then goes into the office. Before he went around on the steps, shook my hand again. <laughs> so, a lot of shaking going on. <laughs> And the uh, doctor tells me, do you believe in higher power? I said, I certainly do. I believe in God. And so the doctor tells me, I was the doctor that uh, examined your results. And I was with you all the way through. You know something, Peter? You're going to have the best Christmas you ever had. Hallelujah. Call me, everything is gone. Can't see, you know, the uh, infection in your kidney. Your kidney is working 100% now. <laughs> and thank the Lord for uh, so many things, you know. So, God bless you all. Thanks for your 30 seconds. So